back to my channel. If you hear a little bit of commotion over my voice outside the door, that's because my two dogs are sitting outside the door. But I am so excited to actually make this video for you today because I got a bit of an announcement to make before I get into my product reveal. I am trying to come up with another giveaway, um, little giveaway session like I did the last time. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it when I reach 400 subscribers or if I'm going to do it when the fall season actually kicks in, which I think it starts on the 22nd. I think fall doesn't officially start until the 22nd. If you guys know when it starts, let me know in the description below. Or I can just look it up on Google, whichever comes first. But that's the announcement for you. I am planning another giveaway, so just stay tuned for that one. But today, I am actually happy to review a product that I have been using for a very long time now, and I think it's time for a review of it. So this is the product that I'm going to be reviewing today. This is the My Main Care Hydrating Hair Mask. You can find this at Ulta Beauty. Well, not Ulta Beauty, but I'll get to that in a moment. You can find this at select urban outfitter stores for around $16. And it still has a little label on the back anyway. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But this is available at Urban Outfitters for $16. You can also find it on the Urban Outfitters website or even the Urban Outfitters app if you have that on your phone. And you can also find it on the My Main Care website for around $15.50. This is a Canadian company. So if you buy from them, they're going to be shipping from Canada. So I don't know if that affects you or not. And I also heard through Instagram, since I follow this company through Instagram, they're going to be featuring this mask in Ulta Beauty very soon, or I think they've already done it now. I was very excited when that news happened because Ulta Beauty and Sephora are usually the two places that I go, mostly Ulta Beauty, to get most of my beauty products from besides, you know, Walmart, Target, even Publix to an extent. But so I was really happy about this, but I have yet to see it in the nearest Ulta Beauty store near my house. So if it shows up, more than likely I'm going to leave like a little note in the description. But I picked this up a long time ago. I ended up ordering it through Urban Outfitters website here because when I finally managed to save enough money and I went over to the store, I realized they were sold out. So, excuse me, that was very bad. I wasn't a really good moment for me. So I ended up purchasing it and I got it, on, got it back when I was at the apartment. And I've been using it ever since. Like, this is what it looks like on the back here. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. It even has the ingredient list on the very bottom. And it even has a little sticker on it that says Made in Canada. Because like I said, it's a Canadian company. It does come in a little pouch here. And the scent, the scent to me is like a little bit of a nutty kind of scent. Like a refreshing nutty scent. I can't really describe it as much. It just smells like freshly cracked nuts. I can't determine what kind of nuts though. Pretty much the consistency oh sorry a little bit of a thing broke off but it doesn't matter. The consistency of this is can either vary from a nice creamy base to a liquid oil base. In my case it's a liquid oil base because when I first got it it was really really hot and the creamy base melted into this nice oil liquid base. So, whichever way, it doesn't affect how doesn't affect the um, effectiveness of this product. So don't be bothered by it. If you are bothered by the fact that it turns into an oil instead of staying a cream, then it tells you to go ahead and pop it in the fridge for like maybe I think 20 to 30 minutes, and it should turn back into a cream base. But that's not really that important to me. I ended up purchasing this because I've been wanting to try this for a while now and now that I have here are my thoughts on it that this product is good but I don't think it's for me and I say that because even though it has such awesome ingredients in fact the key ingredient in this is broccoli seed oil and if you go to their web if you go to the website it will talk more about this particular um, ingredient here but I think that this mask isn't really designed for hair types like mine because as you can see I have a very thick afro and my afro loves um, heavy duty moisture. It just craves moisture. After applying this stuff I actually used it as a, um, a leave-in and as a pre-treatment slash deep treatment of sorts. 
I usually use it before I begin my wash day, whether it be shampooing or co-washing. But I decided to use it as this, as um, a pre-treatment, I think maybe three times now. And during those three times, I would leave it in for exactly maybe 30 minutes. Even with a plastic cap on or a plastic bag, since my hair is getting bigger and bigger, even though it doesn't look like it. But when I rinsed it out with warm water, my hair just, it didn't feel any different. It just felt normal. It just felt completely normal as if I didn't do anything to it at all. I mean, granted, it's just like a little smidget of moisture, just a little smidget of moisture. But other than that, my hair didn't feel any different. It just felt normal. It didn't feel sticky or oily or slick with grease and whatnot, but it didn't feel like uber moisturized. It just felt like neutral in between. As you suspected, it didn't quite thrill me when that happened with this stuff. So I decided to go ahead and use it as a leave-in because I was not getting ready to give up on this since it cost like 16 bucks anyway, plus tax. So I decided to use it as a leave-in and in, in my opinion, this works better as a leave-in because when I apply it to my wet hair or my damp hair, it just sinks in immediately and seals in the water in my hair. You know, like the lock method, liquid oil cream. In this case, this would be the oil. The liquid would be the water left over from me rinsing my hair and whatnot. Or if I use a leave-in conditioning spray, whichever comes first. But I find that this stuff works better as a leave-in for my hair because it sinks in and it makes my hair very soft. So ever since then, I still have like maybe half a pouch of this left because a little goes a long way. You don't need, unless you have a lot of hair, you don't need to slap a lot of this stuff on. I mean, unless you got hair that's down to your, your waist or even further than that, which in that case, you probably need two packs of these anyway. But... Unless you have hair that's pretty much waist length, you don't really need to use a lot of this. A little goes a long way. But ever since then, I've been using it as a leave-in because it just works better for me that way. My hair is left moisturized, not greasy or anything. It's just left in really good shape. But as a pre-treatment, this is not the this is, wouldn't be the good product for me because I need more. My hair and scalp need more. Which, by the way, concerning my scalp, my scalp just felt the same too. It just felt normal. So, for this, this is a really good product, but I consider this more of a luxurious product, if you know what I mean. More of like a luxury product. Because for starters, the, the price is just crazy. $16 for this. And, quite frankly, this might sound a little bit um, offensive, but honestly, if I wanted to, I could take the ingredients, I have most of these ingredients here, I have some of these ingredients on the list and I could just make my own treatment which is what I've been doing, but I can't see myself shelving out 16 bucks at a time, well 16 to 17 bucks at a time getting a small pouch like this. So in this case, I could see myself purchasing this stuff again, but it would only be if I wanted to really really pamper or spoil myself. I can't see myself purchasing this on a regular basis because right now, concerning my budget and concerning how much I've been making, well, how little I've been making, it's just not that affordable at the moment for me to continue to purchase on a daily basis, on a regular basis, as I said. So I consider this a luxury product. I would probably give it four out of five stars because it's good. But I think it needs to be improved or it needs to be a different version catered more to women with hair types like mine. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it here. If you've actually heard of this product before or if you tried this product before, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. Now I did hear that a lot of people have tried the Hello Hair Hydrating Hair Mask, which I also follow on Instagram. So I know about that stuff too and I did put that stuff down as a... Um, product to try in the future but I'm not so sure about it now. I did hear that Hello Hair has has come out with a shampoo and conditioner duo but that's designated for another video. But yes, I can't really compare it to that mask over there but if you have tried this or if you have any questions on what this mask can be used for let me know in the comments below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability here. 
But this is pretty much all I can say about it. Four out of five stars is good. I consider it a luxury item. So that's all. That's pretty much my review of this product here. And if you like my review, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Feel free to share it on any social media website you wish. And feel free to notify your friends about this channel because I am pumping out as many reviews as possible. But as of right now, I have to take I have to go get some rest because I have been out nearly all morning taking care of errands and whatnot. So I will see you in the next video and peace out guys. And be alerted when I um, let you know about the giveaway because I might mention that in a few future videos. But see you later everyone.